Is your cash sitting mostly in a checking account or a savings account that's yielding you next to nothing? In this video, I'm going to share with you six best short-term investments that yield high returns like four or more than five percent so you can maximize your cash. The first great place to park your money and earn a high return is in a high yield savings account. You can open these online pretty easily. Most if not all of them have no monthly fees. Instead of just looking at the rate, I would encourage you to look at four main features. The rate, whether or not they have mobile check deposits, the limit on those mobile check deposits, and the limit in terms of how much you can transfer out of that savings account. You don't want to get stuck with your money if you need it, right? So I made a list in this table. You can see I list seven different banks that offer really competitive online savings account rates. And the first one is Capital One 360 at 3.5%, Ally Bank slightly higher at 3.75%. Both of these two have a really high limit on mobile check deposits and ACH transfers. American Express is at 3.75%. However, they have a low, really low mobile check deposit limit, so I don't really like that as much. Marcus has a higher rate at 3.9%. Unfortunately, they don't have a mobile check deposit, so that's like an ah eh, for me. Synchrony has a high higher rate at 4.15%. Also, low limit on mobile check deposit, so I don't like that feature. The two ones that have the highest rate and also good features are Lending Club and CIT Bank. Lending Club offers 4.25%, and you just need to have $100 to get that rate. And CIT Bank, the one that has the highest rate right now, as of April 17, 2023, they offer 4.75%. To get that rate, you need at least $5,000. The second best short-term investments that yield a high return is a money market account. Now, I'm not talking about money market accounts that banks offer. Most of them have low rates. I'm referring specifically to money market accounts that you can access through brokerage firms. So my favorite Brokerage firms out there that offer good money market funds are Vanguard, Fidelity, and Schwab. For example, you can find a Fidelity money market fund that is currently giving 4.5% yield. That's a really good yield. Schwab, you can find a Schwab money market account that's also around 4.5% or slightly more. The best money market account that I've found out there is one by Vanguard. It currently offers around 4.76%. So as you can see, the main upside of these money market accounts is that they offer a higher return than high yield savings. The main two downsides is that you have to open an account with a brokerage firm and you cannot really use these money market accounts to pay your bills. Now, if you're finding this video valuable, please do click on the subscribe button. The third great short-term investments out there that yield high returns are cash accounts. Now, not very many people know about this. Again, to access a cash account, you will need to have a brokerage account open. Now, a good cash account is currently giving a rate of 4.2 or 4.3%, higher than a high yield savings account, but lower, as you can notice, lower than a money market fund. Now, why would you want to choose a cash account over the higher yielding money market fund? For three reasons. One is you can actually use cash accounts to pay your bills. They're going to give you a routing number and account number. Number two, if you're worried about FDIC coverage, then a cash account is going to give you more. Remember, for high yield savings accounts, FDIC insures your high yield savings account up to 250,000. In contrast, cash accounts have over $1 million in FDIC coverage. I've found one that offers $3 million in FDIC coverage. Now, I don't really know why if you had a million dollars, why would you want to keep that all in cash, but it's there if you needed it. 
And the third advantage of a cash account is there are no limits on the number of withdrawals per month. In contrast, for high yield savings accounts, some of them will only allow you to make up to six withdrawals per month. Most good cash accounts out there that I've found that offer good rates are the ones that are being offered by robo-advisors like Wealthfront and Betterment. Vanguard does have a new pilot cash account right now that is giving 4.25%. However, it is by invitation only, but I have not received my invitation from Vanguard. Vanguard, I'm deeply hurt. I don't know what I did to deserve this. The fourth great short-term investments that yield high returns are ultra-short bond ETFs. Now, these are funds that buy several hundred individual bonds issued by the government or high-quality company. These are short-term, so typically these individual bonds will only last for about one or two years. That said, these ETFs are liquid, like you can buy or sell them anytime and you can withdraw anytime. It does take around three days to clear and another maybe two to three days for it to arrive in your bank account. Vanguard's ultra short bond ETF is currently giving a yield of 4.97%. So it is gonna be higher than a money market or a cash account. Fidelity and iShares are trying to one-up Vanguard by offering short-term bond ETFs that give more than 5% yield. The main downside of these short-term bond ETFs is their price fluctuates. So during a crisis, for example, the price of this ETF might go down by a couple of percent. Now, once you start talking about investing in ETFs, it really is in your best interest to consult a financial advisor. The fifth great short-term investments that's currently yielding High returns are brokered CDs. These are CDs that you can only buy through a brokerage account, again, via Vanguard or Fidelity. And they're currently offering rates of around 5%, a little bit less for some, a little bit more for some. And you can buy six, nine, or 12 months or 18 month brokered CDs and get that rate of around 5%. And notice that it's gonna be almost the same as a short-term bond ETF, but for brokered CDs, you're gonna lock in that rate. So the price will not fluctuate. That's the main upside. The main downside is you're gonna have to lock in your money for several months. If you want step-by-step -step instructions on how to buy brokered CDs in Vanguard or Fidelity, please check out our video on that. U.S. Treasury bills are our last option among the great short-term investments that offer high returns out there. Like brokered CDs, Treasury bills offer a rate of around 5%. And again, you need to lock up your investment. That's the main downside of U.S. Treasury bills for 3, 6, 9, or 12 months. The main upside of U.S. Treasury bills is that it is exempt from state and local income taxes. So your net income might actually be slightly higher than a brokered CD or the other investments that I've mentioned before. Now, it is a little bit trickier to buy U.S. Treasury bills online. If you want step-by-step -step instructions on how to buy Treasury bills, we also have a video on that. Now, if you're not sure which one of these short-term high-yield investments that you can buy and you really want to maximize your cash and overall money portfolio, District Capital's financial advisors will be happy to work with you.